Hello YouTube Freddy W and Brandon fans, welcome to yet another Blender tutorial. Today is going to be camera uh, alignment and how to get your scene squared away in 3D space. Alright, so let's hop on over to Blender and um, give it a work. Alright, so I'm going to run Blender here, 6.7a, don't know if that's current. Uh, go ahead and delete all this stuff. We don't really need it today. Okay, so that's left click and then X to delete. Um, so first of all, we're gonna go ahead and clear the rotation uh, of the camera by left clicking, then uh, selecting it, uh, and then clicking Alt R as well as Alt G to clear the location. Um, we're gonna move that out. Uh, hold Control to just have it snap to the different um, points of my grid. Uh, that grid is set to meters and each one of those is meters. You can go ahead and change that, uh, what is it, underneath the um, scene setting. Uh, yeah, to metric or non. Uh, so this is essentially meters. So everything's gonna kind of work like that. Definitely not as feet. Um, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and drag the camera up uh, 1.2 uh, meters, or I guess units, because uh, we're not in meters. But anyway, um, like Brandon said in his video, and then we will rotate the camera, uh, in this case along the x-axis, uh, 90 degrees to get that squared away. Now there is no um, easy way to see a horizon line, um, so I'm gonna show you the quickest way I found. Uh, the horizon line like um, Brandon showed in his video uh, within the camera view. So we're gonna go hop on over to our uh, compositing layer or compositing um, window by uh, hitting control left arrow or coming up here and selecting compositing. Now um, we will uh, go ahead and switch over up here to cycles render. Uh, sorry I didn't do that sooner. Um, and well, along with that, we might as well uh, set a render size to uh, HD if you want to do that over in the render panel. Um, so you're going to want to go ahead and click the red sphere and then the blue sphere for the world. Click new, um, add in using shift A, a new texture, a sky texture. This is going to make your um, this gray into a sky when rendered. Uh, and we're going to use it to see the horizon line. So for the turbility, type in 1.2. It'll give you a horizon line. We're going to hop back over um, to our default view. Uh, once again, control right arrow now. Um, now we're going to go uh, add a new background image. Um, going to go ahead and open up the background image for this, which I have um, actually already pulled up. Uh, there we go, and I believe it's this one. All right, so now our background image is in the camera view. Um, now another important thing, like Brandon said in his video, would be finding the um or finding the field of view of that of the camera that you shot on and mimicking that in 3D space. So uh, we're gonna go hop over into the camera. Um, menu over here. Um, now Brandon said he shot on a micro four thirds camera so we're gonna go ahead and scroll up and use that preset micro four thirds and he said his sensor size was like a 16 millimeter or sorry um, not sensor size uh, his uh, focal length was 16 millimeters or about um, so we're gonna go ahead and fill that in. Uh, you can go ahead and calculate out um, the field of view uh, by doing that and just entering the field of view, but then you're going to be using a much more complex um, algorithm to figure that out, which I'll put a link in. Um, next, we will go ahead and get that horizon line up in here. Um, so you add the background image, go ahead and just switch that to front. Uh, come down here and select render and now you kind of see that uh, horizon line make sure you have your camera selected so uh, what's that? right click your camera oh yeah okay we're selected um, 
hop back into render mode if you got out of that. Um, and rotate the camera, uh, I guess, over the X axis. Um, and just line that up to about where the um, horizon line should be. Uh, as Brandon said, it should be about um, 1.2 meters up on that wall, because that's where he's standing with the camera 1.2 meters up. So that's about gonna do it. Um, and hop out of the rendered mode, go hop back over here, delete that, and I'll go hop back over into um, our uh, default scene, and just kind of finish uh, adjusting the camera. It can be rotated a little bit along the Z to kind of line up the arrow, or the uh, lines, so that it's kind of like, so everything's nice and square in 3D space. And I think um, we can rotate a little bit on the y-axis in this case, kind of just it's a little bit of a lean to the camera, and that will do it. Kind of just fix that. Okay. Um, now to model your scene geometry, um, go ahead and add in your. Uh, your plane, uh, re uh, clear the location using Alt G, and then we can go ahead um, and scale that up. But let's tab over into edit mode to er, into um, edit mode to do that. So you can go over down here and select edit mode or from object to edit mode or hit tab. You can scale that up. Um, I don't know, it's along maybe the let's do the x axis get that to where the wall is and it's going to do it for me uh, go ahead and switch to um, to edge mode down here select the edge and stretch that out um, yeah let's go ahead and take away some of that tilt that we just had it in it's still not doing it for me um, alright and see it's, it's really just keep on going. If you hold shift, um, you can kind of do uh, minute changes as opposed to not holding down shift. It's going to kind of like slow it down. It's like precision mode. Um, all right, so we're back over into edit mode for the, um, for the ground plane. I think it can go a little bit further out this way. Um, what Brandon said, this was about like 20 meters across. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, do it by numbers if you want. I'm just going to do it by eye because I'm lazy. Uh, select your edges and hit E to extrude them out. And then uh, X to extrude them straight up. And that will kind of get the walls. You can go ahead and select edges back here, grab them, and move them back on the Y down the road and that will um, cover the scene geometry um, I'm just gonna go hop over and show you uh, what this will all look like set up and for rendering out um, so I've uh, prepared a scene over here um, with our glorious little Suzanne heads monkeys um, and we're going to switch over into rendered mode. Uh, make sure that we're only seeing the um, background image in the camera view. So I'll take that away. Alright, so I have a nice glossy monkey diffused in a um, glass. Uh, it, then they're placed over a the background, which I've projected. Um, the background image onto, or th sorry, the um, floor plan which I projected the background image onto. And then that's rendering out onto the two separate layers as I've shown in um, the production overview uh, video. Um, one with the uh, monkey heads and one with just the background. And that's going to get composited over here. Um, in the compositing nodes, not the material modes. Nodes. Um, and so the 
what's interesting here is um, if you see the pure shadow pass for uh, this layer also has shadows on the walls so you need to render out a version without that or without the um, objects on the ground to divide away the shadows on the wall and that's what happens uh, here not perfectly I need to use a little bit more samples these just get rid of the speckling a little bit more and blur the shadows um, and then we once again color correct it into our background um, then alpha over the um, the objects in here and then you can go ahead and save that out um, you can also go ahead and composite these in like after effects which I'm probably will cover um, later until you save out each one of these passes which gives you more space or more ability in post but uh, that basically covers the production um, and stay tuned if you like this subscribe go ahead and check out um, the original tutorial over on Freddy W2 and stay tuned for any um, upcoming tutorials all right thank you